Everlast Powerlock gloves have been very popular for years and now with the Everlast Powerlock 2 in the Velcro are these a better glove? Hello and welcome to fit to box channel my name's Simon, former amateur boxer, current amateur boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I review all things boxing equipment. Today is the turn of the Everlast Powerlock 2 in the Velcro. Now Powerlock gloves have been popular for many years, people really do like them, uh, they were at the price point of about £99 UK pounds, so they were at a popular price point as well. And the biggest criticism of the original power locks was, although they were very comfortable and nice to look at in terms of style, the padding on the knuckle area did break down far too quickly, and so they were really sort of let down by that padding. So now Everlast have launched the power lock too. And in this video I'll tell you whether or not they have put right that durability problem that the original power locks had. As you're looking at those there you can see obviously you've got the velcro version and I'll show you all around that sort of wrist support and also the different features of this power lock glove. Now power lock as far as I can see power lock doesn't really mean anything apart from the fact that your, your fist is, is locked into sort of a, a proper fist position. With these ones, I will cover it off, but these have got a very good grip bar, so I'd say that these are more power lock in terms of that than the originals. These ones in the black and the grey, and as you can see, they are a full grain leather, and they do come in multiple colours. They also come in the new lace version as well and I will be doing another video review of these going forward very very shortly. I did do a review of the PU model which is the cheaper model these are the PU Powerlock 2 model okay so this is the synthetic leather and these are the full leather so even though they look similar uh, don't get confused, these are more expensive and are a better glove than the PU. The PU very much are a budget glove and these scored 88.5 so these were above average on my fit to box scale. So with regards to these ones, I got these from Geezer's Boxing and these are priced at 99 English pounds. I was thinking that the 2.0 was gonna be 120, 110, that sort of price range, but they've kept with the 99 pounds uh, start price for these. So that is great when it comes to them. I'm glad they've been able to retain that position. And that does mean that these will be entered into the Victor Box welterweight Velcro price division for gloves between 51 English pounds to 100 English pounds or 61 US dollars to 120 US dollars. So let's have a closer look at the Power Lock 2. So the Everlast Powerlock 2 in the Velcro, you've got that Everlast on top of the black leather there. As you come down you've got that padded Velcro with the grey piping and then as I bring it round you've got Powerlock on the thumb and then bring that round. You've got a thick thumb attachment on the front, as you can see you've got a thick grip bar and then you've got that arrangement here on the wrist where you've got almost like that D-ring where the Velcro goes through there and that is how they get the tightness on the Velcro of the wrist. 
let me just bring that round so let's move on to the knuckle in there they've gone with five layers of foam definitely more durable than the original power locks a little stiff at first what is what I would say move on to the thumb it's a comfortable thumb you've got a thick leather attachment um, I will say that the right hand thumb sticks out more than the left okay and I do like to have the thumbs pretty uniform then we go onto the wrist and you've got that arrangement as I've showed you earlier and across there you've got that thick padding on the velcro like so and that's what it looks like when it is out I have to say that is quite bulky in the velcro version and also there is a little bit of the velcro kinks up a little bit at the end there so you have to keep on patting that down otherwise during sparring it just does kink up a little bit then let's come through to the face you've got a really good grip bar which is really functional and does provide that sort of power lock fist as in the fist stuck in one position locked in place four air holes above that grip bar and six air holes on the palm on the outside here the stitching i think they're very well made there's a loose stitch here and there but on the whole for the price of 99 uk pounds i think they're very good value for money the lining the lining is a durable lining and that is sweat resistant polyester lining in there and then i'll just turn that over so you can see how that arrangement works and that is the power lock 2 in velcro <laughs> Okay, so first up to the scales is the left glove as you can see there is no indicator on the outside of the glove to indicate the ounce of the gloves I would have liked to have seen that especially as a trainer you do like to check the gloves when the people have got them on and with these the only place that it tells you is on the inside uh, on the label okay so it does if, I can, if you can see that on the camera it says 16 ounce inside there let's just try and make sure you can pick that up okay so let's let's put them on the scales i'd expect these for a 16 ounce glove with that arrangement on the velcro to be quite heavy so we've got 16.2 which is perfect and then let's move on to this one 16.2 that is perfect for a velcro glove 16 ounce so let's go on to the comfort let's put them on and what I would say with these gloves is at first they are a stiff glove okay now the more you use them the more that that will soften I do actually think that with this arrangement here and this here there is a lot on the wrist so it's quite bulky in the wrist area and also when it comes to opening the hands although you can open the hands it is a little bit of an effort especially at first um, so again a little bit too in that fixed position as I put the other one on and that as well so obviously I'm pulling on that velcro there when I've got them on the front of the thumb there is a little tight as I've said you can open the hands with a little bit of effort um, when I look at the thumbs I'm going to Okay, if I can show you the thumbs this thumb here on the right is out sticks out more than the thumb on the left I'm trying to make sure that you can see that on the camera okay so again I think that if there were, it should be more uniform this left thumb I prefer to the right thumb and if I show you there as well that bit at the front here 
I think that could be quite abrasive in sparring as well because you've got some thick piping that goes on on the front of these gloves. Then you've got that bulky area in the wrist. Um, also, there's a little bit of, see that there, with the, almost like a little lift on the Velcro. And I'm hoping that over time that that doesn't get worse. Uh, you, you sort of pad it down, but I have noticed that that starts to flick up a little bit. So, at the end of the day, that could be an area on these gloves that sort of starts to go first. And these do remind me of the Everlast Protex 3, which was a glove that was about £50. And I did like, many years ago, I was a big fan of that gloves. And these, these almost remind me of those with the sort of the wrist and how the knuckle area and the, the feel of them is. Now on there, the knuckle padding is more dense. It's a lot more dense than the Powerlock 1. Uh, definitely more durable than the Powerlock 1, which is where the Powerlock 1 really fell down. Um, I like these more on the bags than I do for sparring. Um, that grip bar that you've got there is a thick grip bar and it does provide a very satisfying fist position. Uh, and that at the front where you can see the elastic on the front of the hand, it's a little bit rough on the base of the palm of the hand. Now, let me just take this off. Um, when it comes to the... You've got a flat part for the finger pad, which is fine. It's comfortable at the rear of the first finger knuckles. You've got the thumb there. The thumb is comfortable, although it sticks out a little like that, especially on the right. And then on the left, we've got a little bit of tightness at the front. You can open up with effort. And then you've got this big uh, supportive, I have to say, wrist at the back there. On there... You have got five layers of foam. Um, it's, to me, it's almost a little bit too dense. Um, again, over time that will soften, but the uh, Powerlock originals were just a little, they were comfortable and they were soft. And I think in trying to get over that uh, reputation as being not that durable, I think they've gone a little bit overboard in those five layers of foam. Um, and then bring that round, as I say, in sparring, I just I think I might catch, catch that thumb a little bit because it's sticking out and I'd like the thumbs to be both the same. Again, this sort of bulkiness on the wrist means that I would rather have this on the bag and the support that it provides. If you've got weak wrists, I think these would be a really good glove for you. So let's get the Fit the Box ratings card up on the screen. Okay, so this, these gloves are going into the welterweight Velcro fit to box price division for gloves between 51 English pounds to 100 English pounds, uh, 61 US dollars to 120 US dollars. Uh, they are a, an American company, obviously Everlast, and these gloves are made in India. Style 93, Comfort 93, Durability 94, Sparring 92, bag 94 and value for money i've got 94 at 99 english pounds so these come out at 93.3 that is good rating on the fit to box scale no fit to box stars um the power lock one they were they scored at 87.1 so i'll put that that card on the screen also the power lock 2 pu they scored 88.5 and so these are a definite improvement at 93.3 the powerlock 2 leather velcro no fit to box stars but definitely classed as good gloves and more durable than the hugely popular powerlock 1 so as i say i got these from geezer's boxing they've got them in loads and loads of different colors to to suit all tastes and as i said earlier i was definitely expecting these the 2.0 version to be about £120, and I'm really pleased that they are still £99 UK pounds. So, if you're interested in the Power Lock, if you're a fan of the old Power Lock and you want to see what the new ones are like, definitely more durable, very similar in sort of what they look like. They have tried obviously a different arrangement on both the Velcro wrist 
and also on the lace wrist as well. And I applaud Everlast for doing that because I think they have definitely made an improvement on the previous original versions. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe to Fit2Box channel and I shall speak to you soon.